Okay, I'm going to give something a try here. This is the uh, Zona um, Thin Slot Miter Box and Razor Saw Set that I just got from Mark Twain today because I need to cut some bases. Um, I, bought, I got a million years ago, I mean literally one million years ago, I bought um, some Litco wood bases. I wasn't sure what I'd use them for, but I knew I'd use them for something someday, and it's what I've been basing all my... Um, the 25 by 30 um, is what I've been basing on there. I'm also trying a different camera today. I'm trying to record actually right into QuickTime. Um, so I'm, this is a new thing for me. I'm trying it out. Anyway, so I'm using 25 by 30, so I have all these spaces like uh, this here. And instead of just buying a bunch more of that size, why don't I cut some of these because I may or may not use them. So here we are. I'm going to cut these. And I got this miter box to do it. And they're very helpful at Mark Twain. So uh, let's do an opening and then let's cut one and see if uh, I can make this bad boy work without uh, destroying myself here. So let's move that out of the way. And I'll pause it here and I'll open it up and we'll take a look at it. Here's the, here it is out of the box. Kind of gold. I'm sure it's pure gold. But it's got the four. I've already cut it. Oh, that's interesting. I already cut it with a knife, which will not help the blade. It's pretty good. I mean, he's right. The guy's like, it's going to be a long time before I go through it, but not if I keep cutting the miter box. Um, they're very thin openings here, so that helps. And I didn't notice until like my third cut, so I've cut like three pieces, or four actually. And they've gotten a little better each time. Um, but there was this little lip on this side. I mean, anyone like the miter box? It, of course, Todd. So, um, so that can support it up against the side. All right. So, I'm going to attempt to do this on camera. So, if something happens, we'll have it captured here. So, I put a draw pencil line on there. I do wish there was a way I could, I could probably notch it down somehow. I could probably drill a couple holes in it and screw it down or something. So I'd, I'm so that's one less thing I'm doing. But this does help putting it here. So I feel relatively safe with it here because I'm not going to slide out of it. But the longer, longer cuts seem to go faster using more of the blade. And the last two I've gotten like down. And I can just kind of snap it off and measure it to my original. And that was pretty good, actually. So I'm already getting faster at it. So let's do one more. Just knock it out there. And so that's pretty cool. So now I can get my increase my bases without having to buy more. That'll save me a little bit of money in my ledger that I keep. My budget ledger, my hobby budget uh, ledger. There you go, there's something. It went all the way through. That's interesting. So I can go too far that way. Okay, well that's good to know. I guess that makes sense. So I can go all the way through. All right. Well, you get the point. I'm almost done with that one. All the way through this ring. So that's good. Looks like I got this one crooked for some reason. Wow, like big time crooked. That's not bad, actually. It should be straight. Maybe I drew it crooked. So anyway, that's the Zona... 35-241 miter box with saw $25 is what it cost and I'll probably just store it in this so it stays relatively protected um, right now I would recommend it and I cut myself uh, one two three four five five base six bases in well it took me a little while to cut them but it won't take long once I get going so that's cool I can kind of cut them as I need them. So I have that many. 
that many. So each of these will make, you know, one base. This will make one base. And then I have just a few of these. That'll make, uh, I thought, oh yeah, these go this way. So these will make three more. So I'll be 12 more out of that one. Call me the cheap hobbyist, not a turned hobbyist. So, so this is another, well, give or take 100, give or take, so that'd be another 200, which is what I was going to buy. I do not have the metal. I have not found flexible metal except for Litco. Everyone says, oh, it's everywhere. I'm like, well, I'm not finding it. So anyway, that's that. It's been a long enough video. Thanks all. We'll see you later. Well, let me put this up here. Zona 35241. All right. Now we'll see you later. Thanks. See you.